Welcome back to College Conversations. I'm Dr. Fedor and I help you navigate college. Please remember to hit subscribe so I can continue to bring you these helpful videos and share with people who might find them useful. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what first year seminar class is and how to get the most out of this course. If you're a rising college freshman, you may be looking at your schedule for the fall and wondering what is this class called first year seminar or first year success or something similar and thinking to yourself, I didn't sign up for this. Um, why is this on my schedule? This is taking up three credits. Should I drop it? Can I drop it? In this video, I will answer all of your questions about first year seminar. First tip, number one, most colleges assign you to a first year seminar course automatically unless you are transferring into the school with more than 30 college credits. The reason is if you already have taken 30 college cr credits or more, then theoretically you already understand how college works in general and you just don't need as much handholding in, in general. First year seminar is a course designed to get new students acclimated to college life and the procedures and culture at that particular school. The values and norms of the college you are attending will most likely be prominent throughout your first year seminar experience. So you can't drop this course unless you can prove that you've taken 30 or more college credits elsewhere and you already know how to do college basically. Now, my second tip is even if you could drop this class, I wouldn't recommend dropping this course, even if you have well beyond 30 credits elsewhere, because every college is different and you will benefit from a course that is specifically designed to help you become successful at your current school. So even if you could drop it, I don't recommend dropping it. And it's also usually a, a pretty easy A, as long as you follow the rules and be involved and, and turn in assignments, it's usually pretty easy to get an A and then that would boost your GPA. Topics usually include how to register for courses, where to go for help for housing, billing, tutoring, learning accommodations, and other useful information. You'll probably also be assigned a common read, which is typically a smaller paperback book, typically a tale of perseverance. It's designed to inspire you, inspire first year college students at the beginning of their college journey. See my earlier video on what is a common read for more information. Now, secondly, make sure that you actually read the common read. Some students blow that off, but uh, leave yourself enough time to actually read the common read. You will most likely be discussing this during your individual classes and then also in some uh, group settings. Um, so you don't want to blow that off. Read the common read and typically they're, they're um, an, an excellent read. Tip number three, to get the most out of your first year seminar course, go to the classes, get to know your classmates and get to know your instructor. This class is all about your social adjustment to the college. Participate in group discussions, show up at the outside of class events and gatherings. If you're an extrovert, that's really easy to do. You're probably looking for things to do to, to get together. If you're an introvert, you may be tempted to blow that off. I encourage you not to blow that off. Just kind of force yourself. Many college students will tell you that they, my daughter's included, that they met their close friends during their first year seminar class or one of those required or optional events assigned during that first semester. It's a time when everybody else is looking to meet people too. So maybe, you know, it's a little bit easier to make that happen. Everyone else is also new. So now is the time to ask those questions. Another tip, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Part of the reason why I created College Conversations with Dr. Fedor is because I knew students had questions and they weren't asking them. They were just waiting for somebody else to ask them or for me to randomly cover that topic. 
So remember to ask questions. You can ask your RA, you can ask your orientation leader, you can ask upperclassmen. There's lots of people, mostly people who work in colleges um, are very friendly and helpful to the students. So remember to ask questions. To recap, you can't drop first year seminar unless you have more than 30 credits. Don't drop it anyway because it's useful information. And it will help you get acclimated to your school. Stay involved in your classes and you will be glad that you did. Make sure that you read the common read. Find out early what it is. Give yourself enough time to go out, buy the paperback book, whatever it is, borrow from the library, and but read the common read. And the last tip is to remember to ask questions. Please remember to hit subscribe so I can continue to bring you these helpful videos and share them with people who might find them useful. Leave a comment below and let me know how your experience with first year seminar went. Remember to keep learning.